Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Bonaventure, a Franciscan, a bishop, and a doctor of the Church. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist by humbly acknowledging our sins, and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, hearing the voice of the Lord from the burning bush, said to him, When I go to the children of Israel and say to them, 
the God of your fathers has sent me to you. If they ask me, what is his name? What am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, this is what you shall tell the children of Israel. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, this my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and tell them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me and said, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in Egypt. So I have decided to lead you up out of the misery of Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. Thus, they will heed your message. Then you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent us word. Permit us then to go a three days journey in the desert, that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. Yet I know that the king of Egypt will not allow you to go unless he is forced. I will stretch out my hand, therefore, and smite Egypt by doing all kinds of wondrous deeds there. After that, he will send you away. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He greatly increased his people and made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts he changed so that they hated his people and dealt deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He sent Moses his servant, Aaron whom he had chosen, they wrought his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, 
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading yesterday, God revealed himself to Moses through the burning bush. And as we continue about that encounter between God and Moses, we heard in our first reading today the reason why God revealed himself to Moses. After telling Moses who he is, God revealed to Moses what he plans to do for his people, Israel, who are treated as slaves in Egypt. God said to Moses, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in Egypt. So I have decided to lead you up out of the mystery of Egypt. My dear brothers and sisters, are not these words very comforting? Are not these words of God a source of our consolation? As he tells Moses, he also tells all of us today, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in this world. I am concerned about you and about the way you are living your life. God is not blind to our sufferings. God sees us when we suffer. God sees our pains. God sees the burdens we carry. God sees the sickness that afflict us. God sees us and He is concerned about us. But God is not just concerned about us. His concern leads Him to act, to save us, to free us from anything that enslaves us, to bring us life. Nakikita ng Diyos ang lahat ng ating pinagdaraanan at hindi lamang niya nakikita, naaawa siya. Naahahabag siya, nagmamalasakit siya, at yung malasakit na yun hindi lamang pakiramdam, kundi nagtutulak sa kanya na gumawa upang ibigay sa atin ang kaligtasan. That is who our God is. That is why Jesus in our gospel tells us, come to me. All you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of Saint Bonaventure. Bonaventure was born of a very wealthy family. He was well educated. In fact, he was very intelligent. He is considered as the Thomas Aquinas of the Franciscans. And yet, despite all these, 
Bonaventure remained humble and simple. He entered the Franciscans and lived the poverty of the Franciscans after the example of St. Francis of Assisi. And through his teachings, Bonaventure made us realize that God is not something only perceived by the mind, that God is not just an object of the mind. God is someone experienced by the heart. This God is a God of love. Our God is a God who is concerned about us. Our God comes to save us. My dear brothers and sisters, not all people are concerned about you. Hindi lahat ng tao nagmamalasakit sa iyo. And some people do not even care about you. Some people do care, but they will not even lift a finger to help you. Sasabihin sa iyo, kawawa ka naman, ang dami mong pinagdaraanan, pero wala namang gagawin para tulungan ka. At ganyan din naman tayo sa iba. We care for people, but sometimes we do not do anything to help them. Today, listen to God's Word telling you, I am concerned about you. I am concerned about what is happening to your life. I am concerned about your suffering. And so come to me as Jesus invites us. Let us go to Jesus, for in Jesus we will find rest. Let us go to Jesus, for Jesus will give us life. Let us go to Jesus, for only in Jesus could we find strength. Let us go to Jesus, for in Jesus we will have salvation. Please stand. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present to him our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may guide us in the ways of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are tempted to despair under the crushing weight of their problems may seek refuge by placing their anxieties and worries in the hands of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are suffering from mental torment may find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are weighed down by bodily pain and illness may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to His guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of His peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of Blessed Bonaventure be pleasing to you, O Lord, for taught by Him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bonaventure and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of Blessed Bonaventure, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>